University Challenge. Asking the questions, Amol Rajan. Hello and welcome to University Challenge, where we're about to begin round two of this year's competition. There are no safety nets in this round, no repechage, no double elimination rules, no second chances. Every match is a straight knockout, with a place in the quarterfinals at stake. The team from the University of Warwick are here at the expense of Wilson College Cambridge, who never quite recovered from incurring three five-point penalties within the first five minutes of the match. Warwick took full advantage and at the gong had 265 points to their opponents' 140. They breezed through bonus sets on films of 1997, heraldic snakes and art about the Spanish Civil War, but were a lot patchier on paintings of poison. Let's meet them for the second time. Hi, I'm James Coe. I grew up in Buckinghamshire and now live in Coventry, and I'm doing a PhD in chemistry. I'm Luke Beresford, I'm from Chesterfield in Derbyshire, and I'm studying maths. And their captain? Hi, I'm Matthew Bliss, originally from Solihull, writing a PhD in British urban history. Hi, I'm Abby Akarapong Pisakti, originally from Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm studying an MA in film studies. Trinity College Cambridge needed two chances to qualify for this stage of the competition after losing their first game on a tie-break against the University of Manchester. Their score of 175, however, was the second-highest losing score of the round and earned them a repechage match against the University of Southampton, who they beat by 245 points to 120. In their two games so far, they've shown us they know a lot about classical music and African politics, but not so much about British geography. Let's meet them for the third time. Hi, I'm Sarah Henderson. I'm from North London and I'm studying Japanese. Hi, I'm Agnito Banerjee. I'm from Dundee and I'm studying for a PhD in maths. And their captain? Hi, I'm Ryan Chunsok Kang. I'm originally from Seoul, South Korea. And I'm doing a PhD in organic chemistry. Hi, I'm Jeremy Jakshina. I'm from Białystok, Poland, and I'm doing master's in genetics. Well, it's very good to see you all. I think you all know the rules by now. Uh, and so with a place in the quarterfinals at stake, fingers on buzzers, here is your first starter for 10. Named after the two chemists who developed it in Germany in the 1920s and used to produce liquid fuels from coal, biomass or natural gas, what name is given to the collection of chemical reactions? Orico. Fischer-Tropsch. It is a Fischer-Tropsch process, yes, well done. <laughs> your bonuses, Warwick, are three questions on notable robots. First, what is the name of the first Martian rover, part of the Pathfinder mission, which landed on Mars in 1997? It was named for an African-American abolitionist and women's rights activist born in 1797. Oh. Sojourner. Sojourner. Sojourner? It is Sojourner, yes. Unimate, the first industrial robot, was deployed in 1961 on the assembly line of a New Jersey plant of which company? It was used to handle hot die castings for car parts. Gosh, it wouldn't in New Jersey, I don't know. Chrysler, maybe? Just, yeah. Yeah. Chrysler. No, it's General Motors. Big Dog, a military quadruped robot capable of navigating difficult terrain, was designed in 2004 by which US robotics company? Yeah. Its founder was Mark Raybert, formerly of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Boston Dynamics. It is Boston Dynamics, yeah. <laughs> Let's start the question then. Popularised by the German sociologist Max Weber from 1918, what term is applied to describe the demystified and transparent state of the world resulting from the use of scientific methods and enlightened reason as opposed to religion and superstition? Weber himself Use the German word, Entzauberung. Warwick Beresford. The Iron Cage. No. Uh, Trinity Henderson. Magification. No, it's disenchantment. Now let's start the question. 2022 saw the death of the campaigner Hebe de Bonafini in what country, where in 1977 she was a founder of the Association of Mothers of the Plaza de Mayo. This non-violent movement uh, demanded... Trinity Akshina. Argentina. It is Argentina, yes. Well done. <laughs> Your bonuses then, Trinity, are on writers who are the subjects of biographies by Hermione Lee. In each case, you'll hear one or more quotes from Lee's biography and need to give the subject's name. First, a US author born in 1933. He is preeminently the novelist of orifices and blockages of frustrated gratification. Say his name and the first reaction is likely to be a joking remark about never wanting to eat liver again. Do you have any US authors? Yes, this... I hear a fortnight complaint. How about someone like Philip Larkin? Go with that, yeah. Larkin? 
No, the answer is Philip Roth. Secondly, another US novelist born in 1873. In her life, her journeys and her writing, she is an original, adventurous explorer, like the pioneers in the title of her early novel, energetically making her mark on an undiscovered continent. 1883, female author. Do we have anybody? OK, sorry, pass. It's Cather, Willa Cather. Finally, a British novelist born in 1882. There are many times writing this when I have been afraid of her. I think I would have been afraid of meeting her. I'm afraid of not being intelligent enough for her. Reading and writing her life, I'm often afraid for her. When was she born? 1882. Um, well, like, Plath or someone, I don't know. Probably when, was, when, was, when, was, when, was, when was Virginia Woolf born? Oh, that's uh, got, Yeah. Yeah, Virginia Woolf. It is Virginia Woolf. Yeah, well done. Let's start the question then. What short given name links all of the following? An artist born in Bordeaux in 1822, known for her paintings of animals, including the horse fair. A German avant-garde filmmaker whose works include... Ah. It is... Trinity Akshina. Rosa. Yes, Rosa as in Rosa von Herr and Rosa von Kraunheim. Your bonuses then. Three questions on television programmes linked by a US state. First, noted for its almost entirely indigenous cast and crew and created by Sterling Harjo and Taika Waititi, which comedy drama series centres on a group of Native American teenagers living in rural Oklahoma? Do we have anything? No. Sorry, pass. Reservation dogs. Next, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, what is the alias of Maya Lopez, a deaf Cheyenne woman who could perfectly copy other people's movements, played in Hawkeye by Alakwa Cox? In 2021, she was announced as the main character of the 10th MCU television series, in which she will return to her Oklahoma roots. Oh, um... Uh, if she was in Hawkeye, I would have watched it. <sighs> no, I'm not going to get this time. Sorry. Yeah. Echo. Finally, Regina King plays Sister Knight, a masked detective for the Tulsa Police Department, in which 2019 series, described by the creator Damon Lindelof as a remix of Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons' 1986 graphic novel of the same name. It's The Watchmen. Watchmen. Yeah. Watchmen. Correct, yes. Now let's start the question. It's a picture round. For your picture starter, you will see a flag associated with a national liberation movement from the mid 19th century. For 10 points, name the present day country that it represents. Anyone? No? OK, I'll tell you. It's Ireland. We'll take your picture bonuses when we uh, get another start of question right. Sometimes described as an anti-hero and heroine, the charismatic siblings Henry and Mary Crawford are characters in which 1814 novel? Having moved to Northamptonshire from London, Henry tries to seduce both Julia Bertram and her engaged sister Maria. Trinity Henderson. And um, Mansfield Park. It is Mansfield Park, yes. Your picture bonuses, then. You just saw the sunburst flag that was adopted by Irish Republican movements from the 1850s. Your picture bonuses are three more flags that feature a sunburst with five points for each that you can identify. First, this central administration, often referred to as a government in exile. Tibet. Yeah, Tibet. It is Tibet. Second, this autonomous region. It's Kurdistan. Yeah. Kurdistan. Uh, yeah. Nominate Yakshina. Kurdistan. It is Kurdistan, yes. Finally, this country, which became independent in the 1990s. What do you mean, England? 1990s. Um, Could it be what? Eritrea or Djibouti? Uh, uh, which one do you Eritrea. want? Djibouti, I think. OK, Djibouti, so we'll okay. go for Djibouti? No, it's Namibia. Oh. OK. Now, let's start a question. Often abbreviated AGO, which family of proteins include several members central to small RNA silencing and RNA interference pathways? It shares its name with a group in Greek mythology whose members include Hylas, Telamon, and the twins Castor and Pollux. Warwick Co. The, the Zodiac, I don't know. <laughs> no. Trinity Banerjee. Argonaut. Argonaut is correct, yes. Well done. Your bonuses, Trinity, are on pendant paintings, that is, paintings conceived as pairs and intended to be hung together. First, displayed side by side in the Prado as of 2023, La Maja Desnuda and La Maja Vestida are pendant paintings by which artist? The same woman, identically posed, is depicted naked in one and clothed in the other. Francisco Lucia Nominate, Goya. Nominate Yakshina. Goya. Correct. In 1634, which artist painted pendant portraits of the married couple Mayaten Sulmans and Upien Kopit that are now jointly owned by the Louvre and the Rijksmuseum? The acquisition involved a signed agreement that they would never be displayed separately. What year was it? 
Do we those are yeah? Yes. Six. Could it be Rembrandt, maybe? Yeah. Let's go Rembrandt. OK, Rembrandt. Correct. In 1822, George IV commissioned which artist to paint a monumental depiction of the Battle of Trafalgar to stand as a pendant piece to de Lutherborg's view of the glorious 1st of June? The ambivalence of the finished work was poorly received at court. Was it t Turner or is it too early for Turner? Well, George IV, so it could, it, it could be Turner. It could be Turner. OK. Tana? It could be Turner, yes, yeah. you're right. It's James <laughs> W. Turner, well done. I'm going to start the question now. His performance at 12 years old, compared favourably by Goethe with that of Mozart at a young age, which German romantic composer went on to write symphonies known as Italian, Scottish... Trinity Henderson. Mendelssohn. It is Mendelssohn, yes. Well done. <laughs> Three questions on Thomas Cromwell for you, Trinity. In 1533, Cromwell was appointed to what office? Notable 20th century holders include David Lloyd George, Sir Stafford Cripps and Sir Geoffrey Howe. Chancellor of the Exchequer. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Good. yeah. Chancellor of the Exchequer. Correct. What judicial office did Cromwell hold from 1534 to 1536? Holders of this office were originally responsible for the safekeeping of important legal documents written on parchment. Lord of the Secret... Uh, Lord of the Privy Seal? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would have been Lord of the Privy Seal? No, it's Master of the Rolls. Oh, OK. Finally, what earldom did Henry VIII grant to Cromwell in 1540, the year of his execution? Later holders of this earldom include Robert Devereux, a leading parliamentary commander in the early part of the English Civil War. Alden, give, give me this a... This is like Earl of Essex or something like that. That's okay. a guess. OK, Earl of Essex. Earl of Essex is correct, yes. <laughs> Plenty of time, Warwick, so you can get going with this starter. Sometimes used to translate the Greek word phantasma in Plato's dialogues. What Latin word is defined by Gilles Deleuze as an image without resemblance and by Frederick Jameson as a... <laughs> Warwick Blitz. Simulacrum. It is, well done. <laughs> Three questions for you, Warwick, on the discovery of subatomic particles. First, the continuous spectrum of beta decay allowed Pauli and Fermi to predict the existence of which particles later discovered by Reynes and Cowan in 1956? Positrons. Beta Positron. decay. Yeah. Positrons. Positrons. No, it's the neutrino. Oh. Invented by C.T.R. Wilson and containing a gas saturated with water or alcohol vapour, which type of particle detector was used to discover the positron and muon in the 1930s? Cloud shape, could be. Cloud chamber. Cloud, chamber. Cloud chamber. Correct. Whose work on cathode rays led to his discovery of the electron? J.J. Uh, Thompson. Yes. OK. Thompson. It is. Well done. <laughs> For your music starter, then, you're going to hear a piece of classical music. For ten points, name its composer. Trinity Henderson. Debussy. It is Debussy, yes. <laughs> Well, your music starter was Debussy's Prelude to the Afternoon of a Fawn, which was inspired by a work by the symbolist poet Stéphane Mallarmé. Your bonuses are three more classical pieces based on works by symbolist writers. Name the composer of each. First, this setting of another poem by Mallarmé. This is Ravel. Ravel. Yeah. OK. Uh, Ravel. It is Ravel. Secondly, this suite, based on Maurice Maeterlinck's play Pelias and Melisande. Time period are we looking for? Probably romantic something. Um, I guess like Rossini or something. Okay, I'll just nominate you. Or well, we could say until the end. Oh, no, 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 don't say. It's, it's a quiz, not a concert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nominate Henderson. Rossini. No, it was Jean Sibelius. And finally, this setting of a poem by Paul Verlaine. It is 4A. Oh, well, that's that's just, yeah. <laughs> now, let's start the question. Originally indicating a European Christian who had converted to Islam in order to serve the Ottoman Sultan, what word is now more generally defined as either a deserter from one cause or allegiance to another, or an individual who rejects conventional behaviour? It derives ultimately from the Latin for to deny. Trinity can. Renegade? It is renegade, yes. Your bonuses, then, Trinity, are on playwrights associated with the Theatre of the Absurd, as defined by Martin Eslin. In each case, give the name of the playwright from the description. First, a French playwright born in 1910, whose works include The Balcony and The Maids. He is often also associated with Antonin Artaud's Theatre of Cruelty. 
could it be Ionescu? But I know that he's Romanian, but he's half Romanian. Ionescu. Or is it yeah, too yeah. early for I don't have anything else. Yes, okay, I'll just okay. nominate you. Nominate Yakshina. Ionescu. No, it's Genet. Secondly, a French playwright of Armenian heritage, born in 1908, whose plays include Le Ping Pong, The Parody, and The Politics of Waste. Yeah, I think we, I think we have nothing for this, right? Yeah. Sorry, pass. It's Adamov. Finally, a French playwright born in Slatina, Romania. His plays include The Ball, Soprano, The Chairs, and Rhinoceros. Yeah, that's Ionescu. Yeah, I'll just nominate you. Nominate Yakshina. Ionescu. It is Ionescu, yes. Another start of the question then. Born in 1863, which theatre director and actor was a co founder of the Moscow Art Theatre and in works such as An Actor Prepares developed an influential system? Warwick Blitz. Stanislavski. It is Stanislavski, yes, well done. Your bonuses then, Warwick. Uh, on places or geographical regions whose names in English share the same three first letters. For instance, Delhi and Delaware. In each case, give both place names from the description. First, a large southern canton of Switzerland, whose capital is Sion, and an autonomous community of Mediterranean Spain, named for its capital city. Mercia, maybe? Is it, like, Mercia? I can't think of anything. Well, Mercia, yeah, pass, pass it. Pass it. Pass. Ballet and Valencia. Right. Secondly, the most northwesterly department of France, whose name derives from the Latin for Land's End, and a former county in the far north of Norway that merged with Troms in 2020 and is scheduled to become independent again in 2024. No idea. No. Pass. Finisterre and Finnmark. An historic county of Northern Ireland whose largest town is Omar and an historical region of Europe located in Austria and Northern Italy. Austria and Northern Italy. That's Tyrone. Tyrone and Tyrol. Correct. Well done. Let's well, start a question now. What prefix begins scientific terms with the following meanings? A reactive oxygen species containing a negatively charged dioxygen group, the frictionless flow that may be observed in liquid helium at temperature... Warwick Co. Super. Super is correct, yes. Your bonuses then are three questions on a culinary dish, Warwick. Which dish did the journalist James Meek describe as the common denominator of the Soviet kitchen? In 2022, it was added to UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding as a result of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Borscht. Borscht. No, it's Hungarian. Oh, OK, <laughs> never mind. Go for it. <laughs> borscht. It is borscht. Right. Nice. The word borscht is thought to derive from the Slavic word for the common name of which plant with a binomial Heraclium sfondilium. Its name derives from its former use as fodder for swine. Oh. Beetroot. Beetroot. Cow, cows. I have no idea. Beetroot. 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 Yeah. Beetroot. Beetroot. It's hogweed. Oh. In which novel by Mikhail Bulgakov is the chairman of the Sadovaya Street Tenants Association arrested just as he is settling down to eat a steaming bowl of borscht? I mean, Master of Margarita. Okay. Yeah. Master of Margarita. It is the Master of Margarita. <laughs> Well, I'll start a question now. Which English city was the location of the 1981 exhibition Black Art and Done and the first National Black Art Convention of 1982, both organised by the Black Art Group, formed there from 1979 by artists including Keith Piper, Donald Rodney and Claudette Johnson? The city is the most northwesterly borough of the West Midlands Metropolitan County. Uh, Trinity Banerjee. Wolverhampton. It is Wolverhampton. <laughs> Your bonuses, then, Trinity, are on chemical elements. Named erythronium on its discovery in 1801 by the Spanish mineralogist Del Rio, oh, which is, Group 5 element was later dismissed as an impure form of chromium until its rediscovery in 1830 by the Swedish vanadium. chemist Niels Sefstrom. Uh, vanadium. Correct. Named columbium by Charles Hatchett when he discovered it in 1801, which element later proved difficult to distinguish from the chemically similar tantalum? Its current name was not internationally agreed until about 1950. Niobium. Correct. Located below tantalum in the periodic table, which element was discovered in both the USA and the USSR from the late 1960s and given different names in each country? IUPAC later named it after a Russian research institute. Dubnium. Yeah. Dubnium. It is Dubnium, yes, well done. <laughs> now, let's start a question. I need two answers promptly here. Mount Korab is the highest point of elevation of which two European... Warwick Beresford. Albania and North Macedonia. Well done. It is Albania and North Macedonia. <laughs> Three questions were on grammar. What term is generally used for a group of inflectional classes into which nouns are divided, members within each class typically having the same set of word endings for each case and number? Oh. Any ideas? Gender, mood. Mood? Mood, mood is verbs, I'd go gender. Gender. Declension. What uh -oh. term denotes a construction in which a subordinate element is not linked by a conjunction to the rest of the sentence? In Latin grammar, this term may follow the word ablative to describe a particular construction of this kind. Absolute. Absolute. Correct. What general term is used for the pattern of a verb's inflections and, by extension, to a class of verbs that share the same pattern? I don't know. 
No. Uh, conjugation? Conjugation. Yeah. Correct. Nice. Picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a late 19th century painting. For ten points, I simply want you to give the nationality of the artist. Russian. It's correct. That was Morning in a Pine Forest by Ivan Shishkin, a painter known as Tsar of the Woods. Your picture bonuses are three more later 19th century and early 20th century works that feature bears. Five points for each artist you can name. First for five points. Uh, well, Mukha, I think. Uh, nominate Akira Pongpasakti. Mukha. Correct. Second. Ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, like... I don't know at all. What do you think? Like Jericho. Jericho. No, it's Lancia. Finally. Um, Russo. Nominate Akira Pongpasakti. Russo. Correct. Now, let's start the question. A pioneer of the stablecoin model, which leading cryptocurrency has as its symbol a stylized capital T for tango? Ah. On a Trinity Banerjee. Tether. Tether is correct, yes. Your bonuses and trinity are questions on literature and Greek myth. Which literary work of 1922 has as its epigraph a passage from the Satyricon that describes an encounter with the Sibyl of Cumae hanging in a cage? Sibyl of Cumae is about uh, prophecies. Uh, Sibyl of Cumae is about prophecies uh, for the future of Rome. So something from 1922 that has something to do with prophecy. Oh, like the wasteland, isn't it? I don't know. OK, the wasteland is correct. An early example of post-apocalyptic fiction, which novel by Mary Shelley is presented in its introduction as a prophecy pieced together from writings on leaves found in the Cumaean Sibyl's cave? Isn't it The Last Man? The Last Man yeah, is the last man. Yeah. the last man. Correct. In the 1810s, which writer collected and published his poetical works under the title Sibylline Leaves? The collection was intended as a companion to his biographia literaria. 1810. 1810, so... Do you have something to say? No. no. Could it be Blake? It's a bit late, isn't it? It could well, be. He was born in 1757. So probably. I think more but like of Coleridge or something. I'm not oh, sure OK. Do you want to go with Coleridge, yeah. then? Let's go Coleridge. Coleridge. OK, Coleridge. It is Coleridge, yes. Let's start the question. I need the name of one of the seven colours of the spectrum here. The dye used as a chemical indicator in gram staining and to colour... Or it could go. Uh, blue. No, sorry. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. In gram staining and to colour methylated spirits is generally known as methyl what? Trinity Banerjee. Orange? No, violet. Let's start a question. Born during the 19th century, Sophia Lane Poole, Amelia Edwards and Hilda Petrie were pioneering figures in the study of which Mediterranean country, both its contemporary culture and its ancient civilization, one of the world's earliest? Warwick Beresford. Egypt. Correct, it is Egypt. Your bonus is then, Warwick. Three questions on an African country and its neighbours. Idris Deby died in 2021, having ruled which African country for more than 30 years? He seized power in 1990 after attacking from Chad. the Gulf. Correct. From 2015, Deby launched military operations against Boko Haram, an insurgent group that originated in Borno State in which country? Um, Niger. Niger. It's Nigeria. Deby died of wounds sustained while leading a campaign against FACT, F-A-C-T, a rebel group based in which country to the north of Chad? Libya. Libya. It is Libya. <laughs> With four minutes to go, another start of question. Citrus, peach, fiesta, cotton and rose all appear before what short word in the annual schedule for the US college football? <laughs> bowl. It is bowl, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses then are on video games. In each case, give the title from the description. All three are single words that begin with the same two-letter prefix. First, a series of games developed by Naughty Dog with Amy Hennig as creative director, the first of which was released in 2007. The player Uncharted. Protect... Correct. Secondly, a 2021 puzzle game by independent studio Witch Beam, which won the 2022 BAFTA Game Award for Best Narrative. Each of its eight stages represents a time when its unnamed protagonist has had to move house. Anything. Anything. No, pass. Unpacking. Finally, a 1998 first-person shooter developed by Epic and Digital Extremes, which gives its Unreal. name... Is correct. Yeah. Another starter. In Western music, a musical scale consisting of 12 notes, each a semitone apart, is given what name from the... Uh, Trinity Henderson. Chromatic. Chromatic is correct. Your bonus is then Trinity of questions on monarchs who died from horse-related misadventure. Okay. <laughs> which King of Scotland died in 1286 when his horse fell over a cliff? His granddaughter and heir Margaret, the maid of Norway, died on her journey to marry the future Edward II of England. Alexander III. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alexander III. Correct. King Louis of Hungary was said to have been thrown from his horse and drowned during which major battle of 1526 against the Ottoman Empire? It saw the annihilation of Hungarian royal forces. It, it's, it's either Mocak or Kosovo... Uh, no, it's Mocak. Mocak. Nomne Yakshina. Mocak. No, I can't accept that, I'm afraid. It's actually Mohach. Apologies. I know. 
Which British monarch died after an accident believed to have been caused by his horse stumbling over a molehill? It led Jacobites to toast the little gentleman in the black velvet waistcoat. Wait, Jacobites? That was George the Second was against. But okay. George the Second died on toilet, no, I think. Was it George the <laughs> So maybe it's George the First. And he's Harry. Come on. Go for George okay, the first. George the First. No, it's William the Third. Now, to start the question now. In 1890, Mabel Loomis Todd and Thomas Wentworth Higginson edited the first volume of collected poems of which US writer? It was published posthumously at the instigation of... Warwick Bliss! Emily Dickinson. Is correct. Your bonus is then, Warwick, are three questions on reptiles. According to the conservation website mongabay.com, what country has the highest number of recorded species of reptile with more than 1,000? These species include the venomous inland taipan and mulga snake. Like Indonesia? Indonesia. Indonesia. No, it's Australia. With more than 900 species, which country's reptiles include the Jalisco mud turtle and the Nayarit coral snake? Jalisco, Mexico, maybe? Mexico. Correct. With about 750 species, which country's reptiles include the world's largest extant lizard species, named after an island in Indonesia. the... Indonesia. Is correct. Now, let's start the question now. Measured in joules per kilogram per Kelvin, what property of a material... <laughs> Specific heat capacity. Is correct. Your bonus is there are three questions on snakes in Shakespeare. You spotted snakes with double tongue, thorny hedgehogs be not seen. These words appear in a song sung by fairies in which play? Midsummer Night's Dream. Correct. I see love hath made thee a tame snake. In which play does Rosalind say these words to Silvius in a complex discussion of who is to love whom? No idea. No idea. As, <laughs> as you like it. Finally, which of Shakespeare's title characters exclaims, snakes in my heart blood warm that sting my heart, referring to his erstwhile supporters, Bagot, Bushy and Green? Um, oh, uh, no, uh, Richard the Third. Richard the Third. No, it's Richard the Second. Another oh, start of the question. What seven-letter word follows thread, softball, firmball, hardball, soft crack, and hard crack in the seven stages of cooking sugar? Or I can Um, caramelization. No, sorry. No. Trinity Kang. Caramel. Caramel is correct. Yes. Trinity, your bonuses are on Winter Olympics host cities. In each case, I'll give you a Summer Olympics host city, and I need you to give the host city of the following Winter Games. First, Sydney. Sydney was 2004. So, well, 2000, right? So, 2002, was that? Is it Salt Lake City? Oh, number <laughs> Warwick University have 185, and Trinity College Cambridge have 205. Oh, and it was Salt Lake City, yes. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Don't rub it in, my goodness. Um, oh. I mean... Uh, it's extraordinarily decent and gracious of you guys to instinctively applaud at the end because that was an amazing comeback, an amazing performance. Have you enjoyed yourselves almost? Definitely. <laughs> well, you've been it's absolutely be fantastic. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. It's going to be a good story. I it's going to be yeah. a great story for the rest of your lives. You did yourself and Warwick incredibly proud. Trinity, you do like stressful finishes, don't yeah. you? Yeah, we, we, we don't do it easy, do we? Well, you've won, and uh, we're going to see you again, and that's to your credit. It was a fantastic performance, even if you do need to work on your final third. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you could join us again next time for another second round match, but until then, it is goodbye from the University of Warwick. Bye. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Trinity College, Cambridge. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>